When I was in the Iraq War, I saw firsthand the consequences of terrible leadership in, in Washington. I was in a war where I felt Congress didn't know what they were doing when they sent us to war and didn't have our backs when we were there. I served with a lot of great Americans, some of the best Americans I've ever met, who uh, many of whom may not have a chance to change that in D.C., but I have this opportunity to run and to make a difference, and so that's what I'd like to do. You know, actually, I think what people are realizing is that I'm the stronger Democrat. And if we want to hold this seat, it's very important that I win the primary because I'll be a much stronger opponent to Richard to say in the general election. Yes, yes, people have been, I mean, if I had a penny for everybody who's whispered in my ear and said, uh, we really want you to win the primary, we may not be able to pub publicly support you, uh, but we'd really like you to win this um, because Congressman Tierney is a liability uh, for the party in this seat. Um, my fundraising numbers would be even better than they are. So there's been a lot of quiet support. Obviously a lot of public support from the voters and everything and, and the donors who have, have come out, and including those who, you know, some who have supported Tierney in the past and are now supporting me. But, um, but there's also been a lot of support from folks who, who aren't ready to take a public position but would like to see me win. There are n numerous elected officials who have uh, quietly expressed their support for me and their encouragement at what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, hopefully over time, uh, at the right time, some of them will come out in public. Uh, well, you know, we'll see. Uh, I, I, I think that, um, you know, most, um, most of the folks in Massachusetts, um, you know, are not sure what to think yet. Um, you know, Marissa's a very, uh, very nice lady, um, but hasn't raised much money, and uh, so we'll, we'll see if she can be a legitimate contender. And we're looking to raise $2 million. And it is an expensive race, uh, but our, our fundraising is on track to reach that goal.